happy Friday. Happy Friday, you guys. I don't know about y'all, but I am so glad it's Friday. I need a weekend. I need a weekend, for real. Anyway, happy lunch break. Uh, I'm sitting out here, and I went to the Dollar Jewelry Store Galore, so I have a haul to show you. I didn't get a lot, but I got some cute things. And then I went over here to Bed Bath & Beyond and had to get something for Shane for Father's Day because I know Father's Day was last Sunday and I'm almost a whole week late, but it is what it is. And um, I went to Panera Bread, so I'm going to show you what I got. And I am sitting out in a parking lot with traffic all around and I have no doors on my Jeep because my husband took them off, so I've been driving around for two weeks with no doors. And I enjoy it, but um, it gets hot. Anyway, let me show you what I got real quick for Shane for Happy Father's Day. I didn't wrap it. He's not getting a card. None of that. He just said, this is what I want. Um, both of us, neither one of our love languages is, um, there's five love languages. His is quality time and mine is acts of service. So when it comes to gift giving, we're just like, what do you want? And we give it to him. You know, that's the end of it. Sometimes we wrap it. Sometimes there's a card. Just tell me what you want. I'll go buy it and I'll give it to you. So, I suck at giving gifts. Um, for any of you guys who ever sent me anything in the mail, you know that because I love any gifts that I get in the mail, but I usually send thank you cards or I'll do a video because I suck at getting gifts. Anyway, that's the end of that. The man wanted a hamburger press. So, I went and got him a, a uh, cast iron hamburger press. And it's heavy. I could use it as weight work out with that sucker. Anyway, happy Father's Day, Hoppy. It's a whole week late. His mama got him a freaking hasty bake for Father's Day. This great big hasty bake grill. Anyway, he won a hamburger press, so there you go. Then I went to Dollar Jewelry Store Galore. And let me show you the cute little things I found. I've missed you guys. I just haven't been putting videos out constantly, constantly, constantly like I did my last channel because I think that's what wore me out. So mine are fewer and farther between and it's uh, I think that works better for me. So, anyway, um, you know, this is the first thing I got are these little, this is uh, their trees with little rhinestones around them. You can see them. Everything I got was $1.99. So, there's those. Adorable. Then I got this little bracelet. It's stretchy and it's got little balls on it in a tree, little rhinestone balls. Adorable charm bracelet and then this blue and turquoise one with um, a cross on it. I thought that was so cute. I better put that on right now because it totally matches my outfit. We better wear that. Totally. Totally. Sound like a valley girl. Y'all remember that? Like, oh my god, gag me with a dead smurf. <laughs> and then I found these. Gold. Kind of a not a dark tur turquoise, but a, you know, that color. Little feathers. Love those. And then I found some in black and silver. A little bit different. Gorgeous. I just fell in love with those. I don't know if you can see them. Two dollars, people. Two dollars. I just love jewelry store galore. And then I found these long crosses with a turquoise bead on them. You see those? So cute. I love this. Okay, so that's all I got. I spent 10 bucks. I think it was buy five, get one free or something. It's all so cheap that I don't really pay too much of attention to it. Then I went to Panera Bread. I'm gonna show you what I got for lunch. I asked them for the biggest water they would let me have. And I don't normally do flavored water, but I was getting a little tired. So I have these, um, if you guys need a boost of energy and you don't like plain water, I love plain water but I needed a boost of energy, so it's already kicking in, can you tell? I get these at Walmart. Great value energy. Blueberry acai. Um, and they work. They give you a little boost of energy without making you feel like you're cracked out of your mind. And um, I needed it because I'm going to run the mountain tonight. And I took a Benadryl last night before I went to bed because of my allergies. And I wake up with a Benadryl hangover. You guys do that? So I've been fine all morning long and 
almost 2.40 in the afternoon and I'm kind of like, I need a, I need a kick start because I gotta go hit the mountain tonight. That's cute, isn't it? You're not really cute. Anyway, so I, I just got a large ice water from Panera and I mixed it with my blueberry acai berry energy. Oh, and I threw some lemons in there. So you're still getting your water, but you're also getting a pick me up. All right, went to Panera. I tried to make good choices. What I wanted was a big fat fattening sandwich, a whole sandwich with a side of mac and cheese and some chips. That's what I, that's what my body's wanting. But I didn't do that because my mind did mind over matter. So instead of chips, I got an apple. So I'll take that back to the office and cut it up and eat it. I don't like to bite into my apples. I have to cut them up. I feel like my teeth are gonna fall out or something. It's a paranoia. And I don't like it. Apples, corn on the cob. I cut my corn off the cob. I don't like all that in my teeth. I don't know, it's weird. It's my thing. Okay, so what I did get was the apple instead of chips, and then I got a turkey avocado, half of a turkey avocado BL, BLT. I think it's what it's called. Can you see it? It's kind of thrown together. They didn't really take too much pride in it. But it's turkey, tomato, mayo, lettuce. On my health journey, there's some things that I ain't giving up. And let me tell you what, mayonnaise or Miracle Whip, I'm not giving it up. I'm not gonna do it. Then I got, what is this? This is a strawberry chicken poppy seed salad. Chicken strawberry salad, poppy seed dressing. It's got little mandarin oranges in there and lettuce and Anyway, that's what I got. And this girl's hungry. So, I'm not gonna sit here and make you guys watch me eat, but I'm ready to dig into this because I'm real hungry. So, I'm gonna go to the mountain tonight and I'm gonna run three or four miles. Um, update on my weight, I am down to 141 pounds. As you guys know, I started at 150 pounds. Um, I'm down to 141 pounds. And I started what? Two months ago? So I am losing weight very, 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 very slow. And that's okay with me. I don't mind losing weight very slow because you lose it and, and it gives you time to retrain your brain on how to eat. You don't have to do crash diet. You don't have to. It's a slow learning process. And so that's nine pounds down. My clothes fit better. I feel better. My energy is better. My endurance when I run is better. Um, it's just nine pounds. Um, I'd like to lose, I would say 15, but I don't think I want to lose that much. I'd like to lose another 10. Um, but anyway, um, just make good choices. I will tell you, last night we went to the movies and um, I ate, we got a large popcorn, me and Shane, and Pepsi. And I ate my popcorn and I drank my Pepsi and I allowed myself to do that. It was date night. And, um, you know, I just give myself moments of cheating. Um, you have to or you'll fall off the wagon completely. So eat that piece of chocolate or eat that popcorn or eat that piece of cake or that cookie because... If you don't, you, you'll be crazy. You'll go crazy. So you have to allow yourself some treats once a week at least. I give myself treats once or twice a week. Um, so that leaves, what, 98% of my meals are healthy and the other 2% is whatever I want. Um, and I'm losing weight. So but you got to stay active. I mean, in any weight loss program, you... Anytime you're trying to lose weight, you got to move your body, whether that's walking or running or lifting weights or whatever your whatever your poison is, you got to move your body. So, 